Hello, YouTube, and welcome to a Smurftacular edition of Rob's Arcade. As per usual, I'm your host, Rob, and on this episode, we're going to be drawing this. Now, I know that image may seem a little difficult for some of my younger player twos, but it's actually going to be a piece of cake because I'm going to show you all how to draw a Smurf using only easy to draw simple shapes. And if that's not enough Smurf for you, we're going to take a trip down to the Classic Game Showcase and Smurf around with the old Smurfs video game for the Super Nintendo. And if that still isn't enough Smurfs for you, check this out. Nickelodeon has recently announced that a CGI animated series based on the Smurfs will be premiering on the channel in September of 2021. This looks awesome, but I still have my own ideas of what I'd like to see in a new Smurf cartoon. First, I'd skip the CG entirely and go with classic 2D animation to keep that old school cartoon feel. It would still take place in the Smurf Village in the forest, but this version would feature an updated roster of new Smurf characters, like Gamer Smurf, who spends the majority of his time sucking down Smurfberry energy drinks and playing video games on his Smurf station. We would also meet Selfie Smurf, who is constantly taking pictures of herself and posting them on Smurfbook and Instasmurf. The series would even have its own version of Rob's Arcade called Artsy Smurfcade, where Archie Smurf will teach viewers how to draw various characters from the show. Archie wouldn't have to worry about annoying puppets or homicidal bananas like I do on Rob's Arcade, but he'd still have his own share of problems. Okay, Player 2s, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to teach you all how to draw the Smurfs. We're going to use the same process we always use. When I draw in red, you press very lightly with your pencils. This is the guideline step. The next step, I'll go into the blue. When I draw in blue, we're going to start adding more details and start shaping up our finished image. When we're done with that, we're going to take our black felt tip pen or black magic marker and ink over only the lines that we did in blue. Simple process. Ready to get started? First thing, we are going to draw an oval. Now make sure you're keeping plenty of space up here at the top of your paper because we're going to have to add some more details later on. When we're done with this oval, since this image is turned, the head is turned in a three-quarter view, we're going to draw just a little guideline curve right through here. That'll help us later on in the process. After that, starting right about here, we're going to draw another oval. So for right now, two ovals and a guideline. We're going to think about an invisible line right here. We're going to go straight up to about there and we're going to draw another oval starting right about here. We'll get to that later. Inside of here, going to draw two ovals, one larger one and one slightly smaller one, all trying to fit within the original first oval that we did. Starting right about here, we're going to draw a curved line, a backwards letter C, and a 
letter U. Inside that letter U, we're going to draw a little curve right here. And I'm sure you can start to see the image starting taking shape. Eyes, nose, mouth. This right here will actually be part of the head. We'll get to that momentarily. But first, starting right about here inside of our image, we're going to draw a circle. Eyes, nose, mouth, part of the hat, ear. Following our line that we did here in this oval, we're going to go around and we're going to bring a curve down right to about there, about halfway through the ear. Starting right about here, we're going to draw a straight, a curved line, excuse me. And then over here, we're going to draw a small line, another line, and then another line here. So it's kind of like a letter C that extends and a straight line up here. We're going to end up changing this around a little bit in the next step and kind of shaping up the image a little bit more. But as you can see, we have the basics for the Smurf. We have the guideline step. This step is complete. We're going to move on to step two, where we start adding more details to our image. We start tweaking it, cleaning things up a little bit. If I'm going too fast, pause the video. Find out if you made a mistake, find out where you made the mistake. We're not in a race here. I know that I move very fast, but the good thing about this being on YouTube is that you can move at your own speed. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to start between the eyes on the nose and we're just going to trace over our oval that we did up until that point. The eyes, these two shapes are going to turn into one shape. So we're just going to go over the outline of what we did here. Stopping right here and going through here. So when we get to our final step and start erasing our guidelines, we're going to erase this area right here, leaving just that kind of deformed heart shape right there. We're going to draw an eyeball right here. And eyeball right here. We're going to try to keep them both the same size. The next step, I'm going to go over the mouth exactly the way that we have it from step one. When we get to our final step, we're going to shade this part in. I'm just doing this right now just to show my player two is exactly what this would look like. You don't have to do this in this step. As a matter of fact, I don't think I would recommend doing that because we're doing step two and if you press too hard with your pencils and you move your hand across a drawing like this because a lot of people when they draw they leave their hand on the paper you could smear everything which would make a little bit of a mess and make things more difficult when you get to the final step. Starting at the eyeball we're going to go over our original oval that we first drew up until this point. Then we're going to trace over this ear area, adding a little bit of this here, and we're going to go over our circle that we did right here. So this way too, when we get to the next step and we start inking everything over and then erasing the guidelines, it should look like this, where we wouldn't have those guidelines there and we make one shape like that. Starting right here, we're going to draw this in one continuous line. Starting right here, I'm going to go over following the guideline that I did for the hat right here. And then when we get to the rectangle area, or this letter C area that we drew over here, I'm going to curve that just a little bit to go around here. I'm going to go back over my line. Go up here. Then I'm going to start right about there, go over this, follow this all the way down to here, and 
and then we've just run it with a hand. Again, next step, when we ink this over and we start erasing guidelines, I'm just erasing these to give you a better idea of what your finished image would look like. These guidelines will be gone, leaving the shape here, which will leave us just the shape of the hand. We're going to draw eyebrows. And then inside the ear, we're going to draw kind of a sideways letter H. It's a curved line here, and then a curved line there. And player twos, we've just completed step two of our Smurf drawing. Now, we're going to go in and grab our black felt tip pen or black magic marker, but we're only going to ink over the lines that we need. So only the lines in blue. These guidelines, we're not going to go over those. Now, in my drawing, one thing that I have an issue with when I do these classes is that I'm drawing at a bit of an angle. So sometimes things look a little bit different as they look straight when I'm drawing the men, but when I get to the finished step, I notice that they're a little off. So in this final step, there's just a few minor tweaks that I'm going to make along the way. First one of these tweaks is I'm going to start here at the ear, and I'm just going to change this curve just slightly. Then I'm going to go connect to this line, and then I'm just going to go over all the original lines that I have in blue, all the lines that my player two should have completed from their step two. Over the hat, over the ear, over the jaw and the nose, over the other part of the head. Well, this is the easiest part because all we're doing is pretty much going over what we've already drawn. So that's why I'm going a little fast with this. We're going over the mouth. I'm going to shade that in. Over the eye. I'm going to actually make this eye a little bit larger. Which means that I'm going to change where the other eyeball placement is. One here. One here. eyebrows, the inside of the ear, and I'm going to stop, take a second, make sure I've traced over all of the lines that I need, which I have, and now we have a completed Smurf drawing. Give this a few minutes, then take your eraser and run your eraser over your entire image, erase all the pencil lines leaving something that should look very similar this. I'm just going over this. We don't need this line here. We don't need this line here. So it should look something like this. If it doesn't look exactly like this, that's okay. Again, this is a process we're all learning. I made a few mistakes along the way in this process. But the good thing about doing this step by step and drawing with pencils and being able to erase our lines is that if we make a mistake along the way, we can stop, we can fix it. So if something looks right in the first step and it doesn't necessarily look right in the second step, that's okay because we're learning. We're learning that, hey, this doesn't look right. I should fix this now and go on. The image is not entirely complete until you actually take your black felt tip pen or black magic marker and ink over everything. You can still fix it along the way. Unfortunately, once you ink this over, that's it. You can't fix that anymore. So, player twos, we have just drawn the Smurf. I hope you enjoyed this class, and I can't wait until the next one.
There are a lot of video games based on the Smurfs out there, but on this episode, we're going to shine a spotlight on the Smurfs for the Super Nintendo. The Smurfs is a two-dimensional platforming game which was released only in Europe by Infogrames due to the continued popularity of the Smurfs in that region. In this game, players control a Smurf who must venture into the forest to rescue a group of Smurfs who have been captured by the evil wizard Gargamel. Each section of the forest has its own set of hazards that the player has to avoid, and players will also have to combat various creatures in end-of-stage boss battles to rescue their captured friends. After these Smurfs are rescued, they become playable characters for future levels, and these characters possess special abilities that will help players on their mission. You're going to need all of the help you can get, too, because in this game, everything causes damage to the player. Standing puddles of water hurt you, and it seems like your fellow Smurfs are randomly trying to kill you at every turn. Aside from this, the difficulty is relatively easy, and experienced gamers can complete this game in about an hour. This game was also released for the 8-bit Nintendo Entertainment System, as well as the Mega Drive and Mega Drive CD, which were known as the Sega Genesis and Sega CD in North America. These versions were identical to the Super Nintendo version, aside from a few graphical differences and a few full motion video scenes to showcase the Mega Drive CD's capabilities. The Smurfs was also released for the Game Boy and Game Gear in North America, and in 2002, a port of the Super Nintendo version was released for the Game Boy Advance under the title, Revenge of the Smurfs. With the regional restrictions making it difficult for people outside of Europe to play the Super Nintendo and Mega Drive versions of this game, the Game Boy Advance title is perhaps the best way for gamers in North America to give this title a shot. The Smurfs for the Super Nintendo did a great job capturing the feel of the classic animated series. The graphics and sound were phenomenal for this time period, and aside from my gripes about everything being lethal, this game was a fun little romp through the land of the Smurfs. If you're a Smurf fan and can get your hands on this one, I highly recommend giving this title a shot. Till next time. And that's a wrap on another edition of Rob's Arcade. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow. Also be sure to follow Rob's Arcade at the social media links listed in the description below. Now as far as the next episode goes, let me tell you the topic in the form of a joke. Are you ready? What's yellow and always points north? Give up player twos? A magnetic minion. Okay, I get it. That joke's absolutely terrible, but you know what, Player Twos? The next episode of Rob's Arcade won't be because the topic is going to be minions. I myself can't wait to show you all what I have in store for you, but until then, keep drawing, and I'll see you all next time at Rob's Arcade.